I think I freaked Aaron out because I walked down the stairs and I was like, oh, there's a spider web. Oh shit, there's two of them. So he gets down to the bottom. He's like, where? And I'm like, they're up in the tree, like way above your head. Oh. <laughs> Morning, morning. I just got blinded by the freaking sun because it's that direction. So like leaning my head over to this side to kind of look to see what's recording and then it's like Pah! sun. Then I look this way and it reflects off windows over there. I'm like Pah! sun. We're leaving early this morning because Aaron needs to talk to people in India. Two separate groups. One for IT, one for uh, ah. analytics training. I couldn't remember what the second one was for. All right. You know, now that I think about it, I've checked every country but India. For? Just football teams. Oh. I just haven't. And Africa. Yeah. Well, I know of Egyptian ones, but that's... Mm. that's not quite. Yeah, Africa is so freaking big. North and South is Africa. Way different. Yeah. <laughs> because North Africa is... Well, let's see, we've got Arabs and kind of Mediterranean lifestyle, and then South Africa is Kafias, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then you have literally the country of South Africa, which is white people. <laughs> kind of weird accents. With really weird accents, because it's that Zulu, Swahili, British. Yeah. Kind of what I would guess Kafias has in his... Um, when he's speaking English, I mean, he does speak English. He does have a British accent, but yeah. hearing that come out of someone Caucasian would be real weird. It is. One of the HR folks at Convergus was South African, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Something smells around here. I don't know what it is. I keep thinking it's me because I recognize the smell. But I don't, but I don't know where it's coming from. It's that, I don't know. Oh, oh it's your headphones. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the? <laughs> His headphones match my shirt. We're going with that one. So, so how's your... Anything? How's my what? How's my anything? Your day, your atmosphere, how's your how's heart? Me? I'm, <laughs> I'm good, I'm tired. We stayed up too late last night. We stayed up too late when we went, stayed up till midnight as well, a couple nights ago, so. What time do you want to go to bed, 9.30? We went to bed at like 10.10. 10. We went to bed at like 11. No, I looked at my phone. It was like 10.10. 10. Okay. That's when the thingy got over. And then you went in and brushed your teeth, and then we went to bed. Okay, so it was like 10.20. Okay. It felt later then. Yeah. It always feels later, because if you don't get enough sleep, it feels later not that you woke up too early but you went to bed too late it's yeah it's a perception thing did you go to bed too late or did you wake up too early does it really matter it means the stint of time was too short it can it's easier for me to wake up later in the day in general regardless of when i go to bed yes so there's definitely a went to bed too early or went or got up too early yes Coffee on my nose? You're right. All right, coffee. Yeah. There's dried coffee in there. Yeah, Willie wants to do the hill sprinting stuff after his work, and he gets off at 6.30, and I'm like, do you have anything in the shade? Yeah, it's going to be kind of nuts today. Unless he messages me here, and he's like, can we just do it now? And I'm like, I'll do it now. I'll do it in the next hour or two. The sun being up, and this temperature is fine. Ah, I, I, I I don't know if I want to do it in like a hundred plus degree yeah, no. weather. There's your ding dings. Yeah. Cause there ain't no train here. 
But anyway, oh hi. Uh, hi. Right, so I have a therapy appointment this early in the morning. It's 9.42 and whatnot. Light level sucks. I'm in, amongst, I'm in amongst a bunch of trees. Trees. Bushes. So, literally my car just, it went from 82 to 79. I don't trust this thing. But anyway, so, yeah, I got therapy today. It's going to be a scorcher. And then, oh, I have my first session with, uh, the coach on Saturday, 9 a.m. I didn't put that in the vlog yesterday. No, because I just set it up yesterday and I told Aaron. So yeah, I should probably put some more lotion on my face right there. At least according to the camera, it looks really red and sunburned. But anyways, so yeah. And then Wild Planet Radio, I finally like directly directly contacted somebody versus like tweeting them or submitting through their web forum or something like that. I literally sent a Facebook message to Wild Planet Radio, which is LGBT radio in Portland. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really want to bring up the fact that I, you know, I, their uh, crowdfunding, I gave $25. So I didn't want to like use that as leverage. I didn't think they owed me anything. It was crowdfunding. I give, and if there's no rewards, no big deal. If there is rewards, woohoo, consolation prize. Because I don't willy-nilly give stuff, give money out. I'm not rich, but even if I was affluent, I wouldn't give money out to just anything. I'd give it out to the things that I think, you know, would use it. So, yeah. But I, I'd probably give more. Like, instead of the... Two hundred what did I do? Fifty dollars to Hannah, I probably would have done two hundred and whatnot. Because I had more money to spend, and I know that would have helped a lot with gas, especially for a camper. Or all the happy jazz. So yeah, it's getting pretty warm here in the car. I'm gonna turn the AC back on because it likes to blow real freaking hard. So yeah, I probably just gonna let this upload. And I will download everything when I get home. Alright. You guys can see how wonderfully beautiful it is out.